Hey there, Joan. Hi, Virginia. How are you? Doing good. Good to see you again. Yeah. Everyone who is watching this, thank you so much for joining. This is a, another video in a new series where I basically ask my favorite bridge teachers from around the world what their favorite bid is. So, Joan, what's your favorite bid? Well, I think that major suit raises are so important that I really love a bid called a splinter bid. It's a funny name, isn't it? It is. What does it mean? <laughs> yeah, well, you know how you want to show partner support. It's such an important area when I open a heart or a spade and you've got really good support for me. You know, you've got, say, five, I open a heart and you've got five hearts. Right. Well, modern bidding, if you had a weekend mm. and you jumped to four hearts, that's mm. game, mm. then we would know that you had a lot of trumps and not very many points. Right. So a splinter bid is where I open a heart and you've got a really good fit for me and you've got a singleton or void in a suit. And instead of jumping to four hearts, you actually make a big jump to four of your singleton or void. So it would be, let's say I opened one heart and it went past and you bid four diamonds. Well, that's a splinter bid. And that would be telling partner that, well, I have a good fit with your heart, but yes. I also have a singleton or void in diamonds. Yes. Is this in information helpful to you? Yes, well, that's exactly right. So what you're saying is we might well be able to make a slam mm. if, if our hands match really well. So when you right. make a swing bid, which shows about uh -huh. 8 to 11 or 12 points, something like that, uh -huh. it says to me, please look at your hand and if you haven't got any wasted values in the short suit, then we might be able to get to slam. Mm -hmm. Because if you've got, say, let's say you've got four trumps and a singleton diamond. Well, if I've only got four small diamonds where I thought I had maybe three diamond losers, suddenly when I know you've got a singleton or void, suddenly we don't have losers. Right. I can trump. Right. Hmm. Right. Ah, oh, what a great tool. <laughs> ah. Well, now, I, so you said about 8 to 11 points to be yeah, able to I, use this splinter bid? Yeah, I think so. People vary on how many points they want to have for a splinter bid. Okay. Um, it should be a hand that's better than going one heart, four hearts, um, and it's you know, about 8 to 11, 12 points, something like that. Okay. And it, it basically says that if our hands match well, then we'll, we'll be able to bid a slam because we've got such a great trump bid. Right. And we'll have a bit of slam on fewer points than 33. Right. Now, hmm. what, what if uh, my hand is stronger? What if I have 14, 15 points? Well... It depends on your treatment of splinters, but there is also a convention called the Jacoby Tuno Trump Convention oh. where you could use that if you're stronger than having uh, making a splinter bid. Got it. Oh, we'll have to make a follow-up video where we talk about that one. Oh, I'd love to do that. Oh, that sounds really good. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you have uh, tons of lessons on your site as well as really interesting hands. Uh, by the way, anyone watching this, if you haven't been over to Joan but JoanButtsBridge.com, you should go there because it's a fantastic resource. Um, Joan, can we play one of the hands? Will you guide me through it? Can I pull up the hand? Yeah, sure, but yeah. All yeah. right, let, uh, me, let me find it. I'm a little bit nervous, so I might uh, I might ask questions of you, but I I'll, um, I trust I'm in good hands. I'll tell you what, good hands number two. There are four hands there. 
But um, oh, hand one or two, they both they're both pretty good hands. All right. Uh, let's let's jump to two. Let's see what happens. Yeah, have a look at two. Can you see it okay? Yes, okay. I can now. Now I can see it. Now it's perfect. Yeah. All right. So you're sitting there south of here, aren't okay. you? Okay, first thing I'm going to count up my points. Four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I definitely want to open, and I'm going to yes. open my major. Yeah. Four ah. clubs, what a strange bid that would seem if I didn't know we were talking about splinter bids. Yeah, I know. A splinter bid, Bajia, mm. is where partner makes a jump that's more of a jump than what we understand. Mm. So the, sometimes people get mixed up, but if the bidding went one spade and you bid two clubs, then that's just a normal suit. Right. And if it went to say three clubs, that would be the same sort of thing. But going one extra, right. four clubs, doesn't have a natural meaning. So that's why we use uh, it for a splinter bid. Right. And what it's telling me is that partner has a singleton or a void in clubs. Is that right? Exactly. And a uh -huh. very fit for spades. And a fit for fit spades. Which I'm loving because clubs, I had four pretty rubbish clubs. <laughs> the 10 could be decent, but. Well, but you've got losers, haven't you? Right, that's the, right. So, mm -hmm. so this means, well, we're going from four potential losers down to one or none. Exactly, exactly. So, what it also means is that. Any good cards in partner's hand, any honours, are probably working for you because they won't be in clubs. They'll be in your other suits like hearts or diamonds. So it mm. means that the hand will match really well. Um, right. It's almost like uh, looking at this hand, I realise it almost doesn't matter where partner's points are. They're going to be helpful somewhere. Exactly. That's the exact point of huh. a splinter and when your hand matches the splinter. So if you wanted to go on now, I mean, if you didn't think the hand was improved by knowing there was a singles and club, mm. you could just sign off in four spades. But right. if you thought you'd check, because we've got two aces in that hand of yours, haven't we? Yeah. We could actually check for aces with four no trumps. Let's go you know, ahead and do that's that. That word. Okay. Hmm. So what would that mean? One ace. Yeah, exactly. So we know that it's unlikely that um, partner will have the ace of clubs because they've got almost nothing in clubs. They're pretty much marked with the Ace of Diamonds. Right. So we, if we were daring, we could go six spades. Well, I feel daring. Should we do it? <laughs> I reckon do it. <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't feed me to the lions unless there was a... <laughs> a possibility. Uh. Okay, so now let's look at the hand. Lovely. Yeah. Exactly. So can you see, the, I mean, they've led the ace of clubs, um, but that is the only trick they're going to take. Right. And basically looking at it, we'll, there's nothing we can do about this first trick. They'll win that. But then we'll draw trumps and we can just cross rough the rest and yeah. cash in our sure winners and we're good to yeah. go. Yeah. You've actually got two ways to... Play this hand. You might want to establish your diamond suit. By, ah. You could possibly trump the diamonds, but really usually the best way to not have losers is to trump those clubs mm. um, in the north, in the dummy hand. Mm. So, yeah, we'd lose the ace. We'd certainly lose that first one. Nothing we can do about that. And so, yeah, I win the heart with the ace. 
And I wouldn't touch Trump's yet. I'd actually Trump a club. Aha. Mm. All right, playing from the short. To, yeah, and we're trumping in the shorthand. Now, um, the Trump suit is also a really lovely way to cross from one hand to the other. So I think you've got two ways. You could cross over with the king of diamonds now or you could cross over with a spade, you know, to get back so you can trump another club. Right, right, right. And with our, our wealth, we don't have to worry about keep holding on to the king or queen because we have the jack and ten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd play the seven. All right, yeah. let's do let's do one round of trumps and we'll just see what comes let's out. With to, that. I'd play to the jack, but oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It doesn't, doesn't matter. You, you've got all the top trumps. Ah, uh, so right. Okay. It's, it's fine. So now trump a club, another club. Yeah. All right. Okay. And now we need a way. Don't touch the trump because we've got to trump that ten of clubs. So. Play a little diamond back to the king. Aha. Yeah, great. We're going to trump and, another uh, one. Exactly, yeah. Oh. oh, fantastic. And now we've just got to get back to hand the best way we can think of, which is probably the king of hearts. Yeah, yeah, and another heart. And now trump this. Yeah. Should I play high to be safe? Is there any risk that uh, West might be out of hearts? There's probably a, there's a tiny risk, but not much. Okay. So you could trump high if you want to be really sure, but now take the trump, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Take that, opponents. <laughs> so what? Uh, oh, if only every hand was like that. Yeah, so you made 12 tricks, and really, if we added up the high card points between the two hands, how many would there be? Mm, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, yeah. 17, 21. Wow. <laughs> 24. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about that? So it's, it's how how well our, our hands fit together that really gave us our strength. And it's that, that is, splinter bid that let us find out about it. That's exactly right, yeah. That's mm. why I love it so much. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, and for example, if um, partner had responded five diamonds, well, that 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 wouldn't help us. Then we probably but, would just stop right at four, five, uh, four spades. Exactly. If the bidding had gone one spade past four diamonds, right. um, we don't really want to know that there's a singleton diamond if we've got the king and another. So right. the goal, the goal of knowing about splinters, what what um, is not wasted is something like that where you've got no honors, mm. or if you had the ace and three little ones because you know you won't lose a trick, you'll win the ace, and then you know you can trump your three little losers in the hand because partner has promised good trumps for us. Mm. Um, so you've got to evaluate. I mean, let's say you had queen jack 10 of the suit. Well, that's not good. So you would just be the trump suit, just go four hearts or four spades, whatever mm. it is. You know, you don't want partner to get excited if you don't like what they've told you. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to look for the chance to use it. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Well, good luck with splinters. <laughs> mm. Well, for anyone watching, uh, be sure to go over to Joan Butt's website where you can find this lesson if you're a member. And um, if you come across a hand uh, where the, a splinter bid was helpful, uh, b leave a comment or uh, even send the hand over to one of us. Maybe we can um, do a follow-up. Joan, thank you okay. so much. Thanks that was really fun. Yeah, great to see you. <laughs> Till next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.